The Philadelphia A's are a team Sports Racing Illustrated once called man. both the greatest baseball club ever and the team time forgot. But it is hard to say the Philadelphia A's are forgotten at all after a visit here to the Philadelphia Athletics Historical Society and Museum on a corner in Hatboro that can reduce a grown man to tears. 71-year-old Mike Roman actually did tear up as he saw this place for the very first time with his son. I'm glad to be alive to see this and it's recognized because you hear about the Oakland Athletics and all that, and that's bull. You know, I'm like, uh, I guess New York would feel about the Dodgers and the Giants. Philadelphia is the A's. Connie Mack in a suit and a dugout. He was God. It's a long one. If Sports Illustrated called the A's World Series winning teams lost in history, this museum, loaded with too much A's history and Philadelphia baseball memorabilia to mention, seems lost by Philly baseball fans too. Even here in his hometown, just about 30 miles north of home plate at Citizens Ballpark. The people of Hatburg don't even know we're here. And yet we represent a franchise that won nine American League pennants and five World Series. Now how many years is it going to take the Phillies to just tie that record? Ernie Montella, also 71, co-founded the A's Historical Society 10 years ago. We've always knew there were a lot of A's fans in the area. And once the society was started, they just started to come around. And before you knew it, we had a car full of stuff we wanted to show. People wanted to be able to buy replica stuff. And we started looking for a place to put the stuff in. Stuff like the actual uniforms, gloves, and bats of the A's players to visits from the few surviving A's players themselves here. There's a turnstile, seats, and other pieces of the old ballpark, too. As more collectors discover this place, they then decide to donate and loan their own collections to share with other fans like themselves, while Ernie and the staff here share their memories. All of a sudden, this brought everybody together. This made it form a good, strong group, I'll tell you. When we have our breakfast with, uh, what is it, 460 people every October, it shows. And just like when baseball, as Ernie likes to say, was just a game, and not yet the billion-dollar business it is today, this museum is affordable. It's free. The small gift shop and donation jar cover the cost of keeping this baseball historian's dream open. A baseball paradise. I mean, it's great. I love it. That's why I'm always in here. The A's Historical Society has helped make a terrific documentary on the team and several books, too. It also helped keep the A's alive for the lucky fans old enough to have seen them play and for the rest of us smart enough to stop in here and feel like we did.